Okay, let's take a look and see what the point at 90 degrees is going to be on our unit circle. So 90 degrees would basically be formed just like this at a right angle. And so we want to figure out what this point right here would be if you go 90 degrees from your starting point. Well, again, it actually depends on whether or not you consider the, you, the radius of the unit circle to be 1 or R. So whether or not it's 1 or R, is is how you're going to label your point. So if it's 1, then your point is 0 comma 1 since your x value is 0. But if it's r, then this point will be 0 comma r. So it's similar to our starting point, except the starting point is 1 comma 0 and r comma 0. And that's it for this point. Now, again, this is for 90 degrees. So if you go 90 degrees, from the starting point, which, once, uh, which again, an angle is nothing more than an arc length as well, or a percentage of the circle. So if you go one fourth of the circle, or 90 out of 360 degrees, what is this point? Well, there you go, at zero, zero, 01 or 0, comma r. Now again, I'm going to bring up my unit circle touch app, and you can see right off uh, the bat, I have my point up here, which depends on this radius. If we go back and just make it 1, and the point becomes 0, 1. Um, and so what I like about this app, again, is you can actually go back and touch the uh, angles that we've already looked at, and it will give you the point. So right now, so far, we've figured out uh, five total points from 0 to 90. So next, we're going to be taking a look at the next quadrant to see what these points are. We'll be using triangles for those. You might also be wondering, what about all the other points? You know, aren't there infinitely many points on a circle? And the answer is yes, uh, there are. And there's complicated ways to find those. But typically for the unit circle, we only look at angles that are multiples of 15. And uh, in many cases, we skip uh, like 15, 75, 105, 165, just because I guess it takes for one thing, it takes a lot more math kind of to show those, and then I guess also they're not as common of uh, angles. So there you go. There are your first five points on the unit circle. This one is focusing on 90 degrees. If you have any other questions about this lesson, let me know.